Charity, wisdom, patience, and humility. Each year, the YMCA of the Kanawha Valley attributes the admonition of St. Francis to an individual in the valley whose life personifies the spirit of giving. The 2023 Spirit of the Valley is C. Edward Gaunch. When Ed's name comes up, you'll hear a familiar refrain. He's kind, he's compassionate, he's considerate, he's intelligent, um, he is genuinely concerned about his fellow man, his fellow woman. He's very God-fearing, godly, very deeply religious. Ed Gaunch is the epitome of a perfect gentleman. Ed came from very humble beginnings and uh, he is a self-made person that uh, I've always looked up to. He's warm and fuzzy. He is inviting and comforting. He is loving. He's also uh, a plumb line. He sets a standard and makes you want to get to it. Ed's story begins in a rented company house, four rooms, and an outhouse in Boone County, in the community of Ridgeview, a coal camp of about three to 400 people. Ed was born on May 12, 1947. His father, Louie, was a coal miner. Mother, Glada earned a paycheck too, working at the local post office and as the cook at the elementary school. Ed has one sibling, an older brother, Mike. When the mines closed, the Gaunches bought a local service station, although they themselves didn't own a car. Louie had little patience for those not willing to work hard, and Ed says he would rather go ride his bike or play baseball than work in the family's vegetable garden or help with the cows, pigs, and the butchering each fall. And consequently, the father thought his son wouldn't amount to a hill of beans. The Gaunch home was adjacent to Brush Creek Presbyterian Church, and that's where Ed's deep, abiding faith was nurtured. In the spring of 1962, during his sophomore year at Sherman High School, he went on a church-sponsored trip to Plainfield, New Jersey, with a side trip to New York City. It was his first journey outside the hilltops and hollers of West Virginia. It was a pivotal event in his life. At Sherman, Ed loved sports and music, and as a junior, he was feeding nickels into a jukebox at a lunch spot across from the school when in walked freshman Marilyn Kirk. After school that day, she told her mom she saw the man she would marry. Ed started college in the fall of 1964 at West Virginia State. He played baseball for a year and the legendary coach Cal Bailey was his teammate. His family and his church family helped financially. Ed and Marilyn married in January of 1967. He double majored in economics and political science and worked in the planning and research division of the West Virginia Department of Commerce. Son Louis came along in 1969 and daughter Angie in 1972. Their family life was centered around church and music. The four sang as a quartet. Here's a duet by Ed and Marilyn on the family jukebox. When I close my eyes, I still remember Old Sherman High, where I met you. Well, Mom and Dad are really both great singers. 
mom is the harmonizer, but they got asked to sing all over the place. Uh, mostly in churches, mostly Southern gospel type music, but dad could sing any of it. And I also grew up in a house where my mom and dad danced. That was not uncommon for them to just dance and sing and, and enjoy that. This journey without you There've been many times you love has brought me through His state job didn't pay all that well. So in the fall of 1967, he began his stellar career in the insurance industry. First, at USF&G, and four years later, in May of 71, he joined the Carson Insurance Agency. And that's where he built his career. Ultimately buying the company and steering its significant growth. He sold out to BB&T Insurance in the year 2000, continuing on as the Senior Vice President and agency manager until the end of 2004. Alan McVeigh then took over. He said, I only had to do one thing. And I said, well, I think I know what that is, but tell me. And he said, all you have to do is whatever's right. And that has stuck with me uh, all the years that I've been in this business because he was always a very honest individual and you could trust him uh, to do the right thing for you. Do the right thing. Faith, family, and for others. There's a long list of boards and organizations to which he has given his time and his talents and financial support. My dad was a hard worker. He loved the Lord. That was his primary thing. And he didn't ever bend on that in business, in anything. Uh, if God said it wasn't okay, it wasn't going to be okay. And I think people realized he had an absolute. He has a great leadership style. He likes to get consensus, and he showed that a lot when he was a state senator. He did that in business. He did that in his public life. He did that in his community work. And it's more of a consensus type of management, uh, which actually, if you think about it, if everyone would be like that, uh, what a better world we would be living in. He was elected to the West Virginia Senate in 2014. And in January of 2019, his career came full circle when Governor Justice asked Ed to become Secretary of Commerce and lead the department where he'd held his first full-time job. Life hasn't been without its heartache. The Gaunches lost their son Louis to a sudden heart attack in 2021. The Gaunches will tell you God has blessed their lives and that their calling is to serve others. He sees people in need and doesn't hesitate to give them something, doesn't hesitate to invite them in his house. Um, I grew up with holidays of strangers sometimes because they needed to be somewhere, and why not with us? Pam met the Gaunches more than 30 years ago. Her first day on the job as a waitress at Shoney's. She's been family ever since. I've hurt myself. I've tried to even, you know, do bad things to myself and all that went away because I knew that they cared for me. They made a difference. They gave me hope. Knowing that I had them through the hard times um, meant a lot. I hate to think where my life would have went without them. There are many stories untold about the Gaunch's generosity about the college tuitions paid for, the cards donated, and so, so much more. 
he really embodies the meaning of the award. He's humble. He's given back to his community at great length. He wouldn't seek this recognition at all. But when asked, he was willing to accept because he knows it's important to the YMCA. He can be a friend to anyone. And he lives by the golden rule. He treats everyone the same as he would like to be treated. The Bible also talks about you will know them by their fruit. And Ed Goncha's fruit is very, very good. His love, joy, kindness, patience, generosity, self-control, gentleness. He's a gentleman and he exhibits the fruit of the Spirit. I'm extremely proud of my father for every part of who he is, for how he treats others, for his love, for his devotion and, and heart. I want to thank you, Mr. Gulch, and his wife as well, for always being there and here for me then and now. They're amazing people. Congratulations to Ed Gotch, the 2023 Spirit of the Valley.